up everybody welcome back to my channel uh, today we're in the beautiful town of Heldon, New Jersey we're picking up locker 369 I paid $270 for it so today since I got caught recording today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be cleaning out the locker and moving it into my van and from my van taking it back to my place and from my place that's when we're gonna shoot the unboxing all right so let's take a quick video of what's inside and then let's get back to my place Here's locker 369. Like I said, pay 270 for the unit, plus taxes and fees, probably 300. So we'll see what we got. See you guys in a few minutes. All right guys, welcome back. Um, I took all the stuff to my place. I set up the camera so you could have an overview look on the items that I'm going to be taking out of the bags. I have a few bags now set up to go th look through, so let's look through them together. Here we go. Bag number one. What do we got? Looks like clothes. jacket some so no more sport they sell don't get me wrong it's a nice jacket you know it would have to get cleaned and maybe we could get rid of it somehow maybe uh, donate it or flea market we got some jeans here can't really tell by the brand but pretty destroyed sweater sport 18 or 81 bridgeport uh, kind of used looks like old clothes sweater 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 on the sweater Not a bad sweater here. What brand is it? AV Rex Authentic, extra large. I don't know, maybe if it got cleaned up, I'd have to look at the pricing, see what it sells for. We got pants, sweatpants. There's a bag here. It's pretty heavy. Let's put that down. Looks like it's all tied up. All right. Oh, looks like just towels and more towels. Useless stuff, probably garbage. All right, curtains. Not too fantastic. Let's go on to the next one. like more clothes, hats and that bag. Let's see what we got here. Oh look, it's all ties. Could probably do a bundle on eBay. Today's man kind of ripped a little bit. But as you can see it's all ties. If there's any name brand ones. Britches. You got Corporate collection. We got Lombardia. Oh, looks like it's been heavily used ties, but throw them in a the wash. See what they come out as. Who knows? Do a bundle for all of them for like 20 bucks. Got a New York hat. Boston hat, just a regular black cap. Oh, I don't know that team. If anybody knows, hit me up in the comments. 
huge. It's huge. Oh, the winter cap. Winter cap. Really messed up cap. Wham. Wham, bam. Another cap. Another cap. And more caps, it looks like. I wonder why it was so heavy. We got some used belts. All dirty. Probably all garbage. All right. We got this bag here. Got rid of this stuff. As you can see, it's a bag of wires from hell. Um, I did notice some boxes like this, and as you can see, it's Nintendo. So most likely we're gonna have a Nintendo. We got Guitar Hero 3. They go for some money. Has the booklet. Uh, CD is okay, most likely. I'll just have to clean it up. Dance Dance Revolution Extreme. Same. So that's good. We got two games. We have a Yamaha. Looks like for a guitar or a sound sound converter. Oh, it comes it goes with batteries. I have a few. I might check it out. It's, looks pretty old. It's model RY8, made in Japan. So oh, I'll take a look at it. Rack of CDs. Hot in my spots. Probably, you know, CDs made with music for themselves. Ooh, talking about a messed up shoe. Whatever we got here. Looks like an input converter. Probably for a guitar. Yeah, M Audio Mobile Pro USB. Oh, dirty. M Audio. Looks like Model 3A2, maybe. It has a USB hookup, so it could be computer based. It's worth this stuff on the bottom. Uh, power cable. Looks like a, a switcher. Video switcher from channel 3 to 4. Oh, look at that. Nintendo controller. Another Nintendo controller. Looks like a Nintendo uh, AC adapter. Bunch of adapters here, but I'd have to go through this whole pile, unravel it, take what I want, what the good, good stuff is. As you can see, if there's Nintendo, um, you know, cable hookups, most likely there's going to be a Nintendo. I hope so. But as you can see, I'm not going to go through all of this. There's a couple, looks like switches here, AC adapters. So hopefully we have a, a few units. On to the next one. Uh, this one's pretty heavy. Keeping the games in that audio box on the side. What is this? Oh, look at that. I could make some martinis. Extra dry. It's missing a cup. Well, they're all here. Probably used, so. And it's missing pieces. I'm not gonna be using this. But it could be a donation item. Probably missing the top side of this cover to, to close and then make the drinks. But we'll see. Maybe we could find it. Let's get rid of this one thing here. It looks like a box of paper work. Uh, don't get me wrong. There are some naughty items in here. Let me rummage through it really quickly. As you can see, 
bunch of DVDs, more DVDs. I hear DVD packs and bundles go for a lot. Ooh, 13 Ghosts. My wife was just talking about watching this. Oh man, talking about movie night. Uh, a lot of adult entertainment stuff I don't want to get into. I'll try to go through it. I don't know if this stuff is bootleg. Some of them, it, some of them are, some of them aren't. The Brotherhood, Hannibal. More probably custom CDs, bootleg CDs. As you can see, every bootleg that comes out always has this white cover on top. More DVDs. Blood Surf. Some of these movies I didn't even, I didn't even hear of. Oh, look at that. Ain't that a blast from the past. Blockbuster movie from Routes 46. Fast and the Furious. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't get too excited. Some bootleg stuff and under that a lot of adult entertainment more adult entertainment underneath this cover adult entertainment underneath this cover as well looks like a whole bag of dvds naughty cds on the bottom of that one as well I'll reach into and get some games. More DVDs. Man, this guy had a massive collection of DVDs. Paperwork. Probably I'll go through it later. More Nazi DVDs, of course. DVDs, a lighter, probably the pressing will explode in my hands. I want to try it. CDs, bootlegs, once again. Go into the back a little bit. A bunch of medical masks and gloves. Double candy shop. Antiperspirant. More garbage. I'll probably blur out whatever's bad. So, like I said, go play the movies. More CDs. Bootleg movies. More bootleg movies and adult movies, of course. Look at that. Found Superman. Ah, he died. Oh, more adult videos. Oh, I love this movie, Queen of the Damned. I loved it. More DVDs. Blow. Stigmata. My wife loves that movie. My god, I thought I had a DVD collection in the past. Psh. Surprisingly, DVDs aren't worth that much anymore. Alright, the last box that I have here. Oh, and I see something very naughty right there. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Let's get that out of the way. Alright. Uh, this is something you guys might want to see. What is this? A Nintendo. The old one. Crack. Missing the case cover. Or the flip cover. Does have a game. Fast break. We got the Nintendo gun. Hopefully the connection is still good. Yep. Still clicks. Might work. A lot of cleaning. I'll have to do, go through to actually make it work. Ninja. 
Ninja 2. You know, if you guys know, some of the stuff, especially Nintendo games, can be very, very expensive. Looks like Samsung. How did they get all this this dirty? They have to be pigs or something. Look at it, broken, dented, disgusting. Like, like, how do you get the, this dirty? Like, you'd have to literally be cooking food on it. A modem. Then you have a remote control. You have an old style CD player. Dirty mask. Oh, it looks like walkie, walkie phones. Nextel. Hmm. I wonder if they work. They're so beat up, it's not even funny. More walkie talkies. Old collection of phones. Oh, I could cut my beard with this. More walkies. Old phone. Samsung. Love. Another cell phone. Another cell phone. All right, let's get to box number four. Or container number four. The Holy Quran. Nothing's in there. Looks like this gentleman was an avid collector of CDs and DVDs. There's no shame in the game. Remember back in the 90s, I used to collect what we rated each other on back in the days. Like who had the biggest collection of cassettes or CDs. And the biggest thing was, you know, the more you have, the more you spent remember a friend of mine used to brag on oh my collection is like a thousand deep because he had you know hundreds of cds back then there was no such thing as digital download or anything like that so you have to manually go get these cds and when they came out you know if it was a pop and cd or a band rapper couldn't get any you know it's like waiting for the new playstation to come out so let's see what we got in here probably yep yeah. collection of cds these things were filled with cds back in the day and you would always tell you know you brag about it to your friends Talk about what your collection was. So, looks like you took most of them out. These are just, looks like just booklets of the CDs that he had. Who knows? One of these booklets might be worth something. Too bad I don't have the CD. Maybe if I, if I have a chance and run across it, maybe I can make them into uh, packs. And go from there. Stuff in here. It looks like personal tape work. I was hoping to maybe get into a video game a container that has stuff in there from the Nintendo. But so far, so far nothing. So another container of now this time cassettes. Let's get this out of the way. Man, bag of CDs. Probably bootleg videos. Just I could tell by the way they look. Whenever you go, you go to the flea market and you buy bootleg DVDs, they always come with the white face. So, to me, like a bunch of cassettes all the way down and like I said I'll go through all, all cassettes most of them are just bootlegs Chub right Chub rock treat them right cassette 
Big Punisher. This one's messed up. Sparkle. Apache. Gangsta. You know, B. I won't, I won't uh, finish that one up. Oh, Wu-Tang Clan, man. Bring me back to the heydays. Rampage. Energy efficient and anti resonance cassette mechanism. So it looks like custom made cassettes. I'll have to go through them if I find like these any original Rough Riders First Lady. I'll put them on the side. Maybe I can make a pack or a bundle and sell them all at once online. All right, another slight bag. So what do you got here? Got another optimum modem. A lot of wires, a lot of cables. I'll be spending days unraveling. Oh, look at that. Nintendo Wii has all the cables in it, so that's good. Ports look okay, but it's missing the cover. So, you know, I might have to take a look. Maybe I could find it in the bag. So we got a Wii. I'll have to test it, power it up. We have the Wii sensor. So, once again, tied twisted, locked into each other. It's like they just threw it all, all at once into the bag and said, you know what? When we come around to it, we'll try to figure it out and untangle them. Look at that. I don't want to mess, mess up the cable. So. All right, so that's done. Hopefully it all works. We have the original power cable, power box, which is a great thing. And it also looks like the AVI connections. All right. It's a mic. Looks like it hooked up to a uh, USB. So I don't know. It's kind of worn out. Like I said, how, how would you be living to get it dirty like this. Look at it. Look like it went through hell and back. Ugh. People have like no shame on keeping their things nice and tidy. Looks like an old bar of soap and some towel. Ooh, there you go. There's the cover. Nice. I'll put that on when I can. Looks like the stand for the Wii. Awesome. There's nothing else in here, just junk. Maybe that's flakes of gold down here, but <laughs> they're little beads. Okay, so that's awesome. We got a, a Nintendo system. Pardon my phone. We've got a Nintendo system, which is great. I wonder if I could get this to fit and work again. I'll figure it out. So I'll power it up. And always check whenever you do power these things up if there's a game inside. 90% of the time, somebody always forgets it. There goes the cover. All right, we got a little bag here. Just gonna pour it all out. See some poop droppings which probably isn't a good idea to do it right on my table, but we couldn't do this at the locker, so I'm gonna have to deal with it. Look, I found diamonds. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Fake gold, fake jewelry. I don't see, there's no connection to it, so I can't tell you if it's gold or not. Got some cards here. Yeah, I should get a garbage bag right next to me. You know, looks like arm guards. 
Okay, I've got to try this. Some kind of strap. Eye patch. Arr! Where's the loot? Where's the loot? Okay. What do we got here? Probably more fake jewelry because if it was sterling silver, it would be, you know, silver. It wouldn't change color dramatically. I don't see no markings. Feels fake. Looks like the other part of the chain or whatever it was is here still. A little toy. Got some darts. Crayon, crayons. Some lip balm. I know what that is. I know you guys probably do too. <laughs> I'm not, uh, I don't know. Maybe it could be a, a ring. <laughs> I don't know if it's a ring. Pugs. I don't know if it's the name brand. What we got here? No name brands. Got a mouse. Don't know what the hell. It looks like a cassette reader or. this over here praying beads I might go through the paperwork but it looks like it's just useless mail cables mouse ah. broken glass what's this over here same no name brand pugs gear I don't know I don't know if pugs I don't know if pugs or any type of brand. I haven't heard of them before. Look at that. Whoa, retro. It's probably Happy New Year. Freaky. Whoa. Some medicine. Let's see, what's this over here? Khan. K H A N. Khan. All beat up. You know, it's not even. In really good condition. I don't see anything that's worth with my wild. May I this whole thing? This is the most exciting. Probably, <laughs> I think it's Mulan. Mulan. It's a Disney movie. There's the dragon in that in that movie. Our pet. Oh, something here. Yeah. Doesn't look like it's gold or silver. Doesn't feel like it. Broken glass. Alright, let me pack this up and get on to the last box. Well, before I start, empty bottle. Let's get some Clorox in here. Start disinfecting. Always keep your workspace clean. Like they say, cleanliness is next to godliness, if you believe such a thing. Most likely the the book I found, the Quran. I might just, I don't like getting rid of stuff like that just to the trash. I don't know if it's bad luck or not. So we'll, we'll see about it later. The last box, something very interesting in this one. The original PlayStation. And it has Tigger's Honey Hunt video game inside. It works just fine opening. So, see the condition? Eh, it's not bad. If there's games, video games, 
like a Nintendo Wii, NES, and now the PlayStation. Definitely got to be some video games. I'm gonna clean the system up. Oh, it's not that bad. It's just aged. But with a little cleaning, I might even add it to my collection if it works. I might have to go through that. I might have to rummage through all that stuff, all those cables there. So it's a CD. I've got some shoes. Again, electrical splitter. And another modem. Usually these things are obsolete within a few years. So I don't know. I'll look it up on eBay. It's a Motorola. And see how much they go for. Maybe I could sell it. If not, it's going to find its way to the trash. So that's it for the boxes I, I pulled from my van. <clears throat> Most likely, I'll do another couple more boxes in part two. Finish off the locker. Hopefully find some more good stuff.